YouTube. What's good, guys? It's your boy TD, and I'm back again with another video for Fantasy Good Sports. And today's video, guys, is going to be on a quarterback that you should be fading in your drafts. Yes, in your redrafts, most definitely. In dynasties, you should be picking him up later and just waiting for next year because this year is just going to be a grooming year. And what I mean, guys, the player I'm talking about is Joe Barrow. Yes, Joe Barrow. I'm, I'm talking about Joe Barrow. Yes, guys. So the reason why I'm telling you to fade Joe Barrow is because of his injury, the knee injury that he had last year. Last year, he tore his ACL, PCL, and he also had meniscus problems. That's, you know, we got a lot of great science with doctors, but that's that's a lengthy recovery to me, guys. So just think about all the quarterbacks that blew their knee out. The ones that came back and had great seasons, right? Tom Brady did it. It took him one year, that whole year, guys, to get better, to to get more, to get used to that knee. And I think Joe Burrow is going to have to have this whole season as almost like a wash season. He might not hit his heist. He might not hit his ceiling and his floors, guys, that he usually hit. You know, so don't – it's not that he's a terrible player. It's just the injury. So he has to be able to trust that injury underneath the fire. You know, he's getting blitzed. He got people rolling around his knee. You're going to be timid. That's any human. Most nine times out of ten, any human is going to be timid. Everybody's not Adrian Peterson. Blow your knee out, come back and have great records, right? So I'm not drafting Joe Burrow in redraft this year. If I do, it's going to be late, and he's basically be like a streaming quarterback. And then it's later, maybe later in the year when he gets better, then I pick him up and I start him. But redraft, I'm not picking this guy up where all the quarterbacks is going. A lot of people are taking this guy as a top 10 quarterback. I don't believe he's going to be a top 10 quarterback this year. I do believe he's a top 10 talent, but not this year because of the injury. Also, guys... I'm not drafting a lot of guys off this offense. I said what I said. Jamar Chase, T. Higgins, Tyler Boyd, I'm fading them too. Now, listen, if they fall to me for the, in the right draft spot, I'm picking them up. But these guys are not going to have high ceilings because Joe Barrow uh, is going through his injury. So by him getting be you know, trying to get better off that knee injury, he's not going to throw for 300 yards, 400 yards, what it's going to take to have a top 12, a top 24 receiver. So... Does that mean Joe Mixon gets bell cow? Yes, but how efficient does he be? Yeah, he's getting 20, 25 carries a game, but is it efficient? Is he scoring a lot of touchdowns? Is this offense moving between the 20s? Is, is Joe Mixon getting opportunity to get fall, easy fall-in touchdowns? Or he ha he's going to have to break long runs? So I'm not drafting a running back that I need him to break 80-yard runs every time to have a good fantasy week. I want to get running backs that's going to have two fall-in touchdowns on top of getting a lot of work or, or busting a long play. So, guys, I'm not going to hold you up on this video, but I just wanted to give you a reason why you should be fading Joe Burrow in redrafts. Dynasty, before I get off this video, I want to let you know, Dynasty, you can pick him up and you can stash him. I think he can be a league-type winning player for you for Dynasty, especially in the years to come. I mean, Joe Burrow going to be able to play for 15 years. So this year is not the year this, this, for him to go get you the championship. Next year, 2022, 2023, he will be able to go help get you this championship. But this year, you stash him. So don't let him be your, your top two quarterback off the board. Let him be your third quarterback off the board. And have somebody that, like a bridge quarterback, that can get you through this year. And that way, if Joe Burrow is not having the year that, he's, that he needs to have to be a top 10 quarterback, you're okay with it. You can still go out and compete and try to win a championship with Joe Burrow being on your bench. So, guys, make sure you subscribe to this channel because this is cutting-edge content. And also, guys, go subscribe to my OnlyFans where I'm available for you all day, every day. And I answer any questions that you have. And also, guys, I offer packages as far as like a draft package. Just hit me up at fantasygoodsports at Gmail. And also, guys, I offer a consultation where... I help you with your draft. I know a lot of people, us, have a lot of redrafts coming up. And, guys, I will be there with you to help you do a redraft if you trust me. And your boy got a lot of stuff. So I show myself that I approve now. I got a lot of, just look at my content for the last year to what I've been doing. So, guys, see you later. Thank you for tuning in to F Fantasy Good Sports. Peace.